Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the brand new Nerf Zombie Strike Rickshaw, or Ricochet, or what, however you pronounce that name. Um, it's right there. Uh, it's As you can see, it's an open face box. It's a smaller blaster. I believe they were $9.99 or $7.99. Um, on the back here, just some details, quick fire methods, all that good stuff. Uh, Nerf Zombie Strike app. I still don't think they have that out yet, but um, it would definitely be interesting to check it out if they do. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So we're just going to open it up uh, by cutting it out of the package. And I apologize, my knife, again, is not the best. Uh, it's gone dull recently from overuse. Um, so we're just going to kind of pull it out. On the inside here, we have just a quick package with uh, two uh, standard uh, Vortex discs. And those are the standard green color. They're not uh, anything special for the Zombie Strike line, unfortunately. Uh, I thought that would have been kind of cool if they'd have incorporated something like that, but they didn't. Um, they do, I believe, have just a standard green core, which the other ones had a more darker. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So here is the rickshaw. First things first, it is fairly small. It's not as small as I thought it would be. Um, it's just as large as my hand, if not a little bit bigger. Uh, it feels really cheap, honestly. It feels like it's made out of just some cheap plastic. The colors are not that great. If you compare it to like the, the uh, orange on a rapid strike, it's just a palish, uh, horrible colored green. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the crossfire bow and kind of compare the greens on these. And it, it just doesn't match, it's off. It's a glossy, bright color. The oranges are glossy. It looks really cheap, in my opinion. It just, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the looks um, as far as all that stuff goes, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out here and see how this works. Um, it looks like you load the dart into the front of the barrel and you pull back on the prime and it does not go forward, okay? You just pull it back and it fires. And there is absolutely no power to these things. Uh, again, you just put the dart in the front there um, or, no, sorry, you have to push the slide back after you fire, okay? So, slides in the front position, you load it, pull it back, fire, you have to push it forward before you can load another dart, or another disc. Um, so, that's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm not sure if I like it, honestly. Uh, the practicality of it is very minimal. Um, I don't know when you're going to need a disc blaster that doesn't, it's not getting hardly any range, honestly. It's getting about the same, maybe 30 feet. Um, I'm going to keep forgetting you have to push that forward. Um, it's just quirky. I don't know. It's really weird. Oops, and I shot the table right in front of me. Um, I don't like it. I just, I do, it doesn't make sense to me. For one, it's bulky in the top. The handle's really small. I can only fit uh, two fingers on it, and the third one's completely off, and I've got small uh, fingers. Um, it feels really bulky, cheap. Um, the way it operates is just weird to have to prime it, fire it, then push it forward before you can load another one. I just don't see the point of it, honestly. Um, if you're looking for, I guess, a little toy for like a little kid, maybe, um, it would possibly, but for all practicality in a war or anything like that, it's good for awful rounds, honestly. That's the only thing I can say for it. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more out of it, but that's pretty much it. There's nothing much more I can say about it. Um, is it worth it? No. Uh, it's not getting ranges good enough, and it's just really weird and feels kind of cheap. So, unfortunately, um, that was kind of a bust. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. I'll do my best to get back to you on those, but YouTube is making it difficult, so I do apologize if you've been asking questions I haven't been responding. Um, if you could check out the Facebook page, I do a lot better with responses on there. That's facebook.com slash nerf to me too. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just click on another video. <laughs> um, if you wanted to see more of those, hit the subscribe button. That would be great. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.